the precious blood of the Lamb. Would you do service for Jesus, your King? There's power in the blood. Power in the blood. Would you live daily his praises to sing? There's wonderful power in the blood. Oh, there's power, 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 wondrous working power in the blood in the blood of the land. There is power, power, wondrous working power in the precious blood of the land. Amen. Amen. Our scripture reading tonight is coming from Psalm 63. All right. And it reads as thus, O oh God, thou, thou art my God, early will I seek thee, yeah. my soul thirsts for thee, my flesh longest for thee in yeah. thy dry and thirsty land yeah. where there is no water, to see thy power and thy glory, so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary. Because thy loving kindness is better than life, so. my lips shall praise thee. Yeah. Thus will I bless thee while I live. I will lift up my hands in thy name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. When I remember thee upon my bed and uh -huh. meditate on thee in the night watches, because thou hast been my help, Therefore, in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. So. My soul followeth hard after thee. Thy right hand upholdeth me. Amen. But those that seek my but those that seek my soul to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of the earth. Amen. They shall fall by the sword. They shall be a portion for foxes. Uh -huh. But the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone that swears by him shall glory, but the mouth of them that speaketh lies shall be stopped. Thank I have read Psalm 63. Now let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this day and for our gathering tonight. Yeah. You are the creator of all things, the author of life yeah. and of our loving Father. We thank you that you are faithful and we feel your presence in our lives. And we thank you for the word of God. As we prepare to study your word tonight, we ask that you open our minds, help us to clear away any clutter and quiet out any noise and voices and that we may only hear from you as we long to seek your word. Please provide fresh insight and awareness so we can understand you better. A special prayer even now, Lord, for our sick, for our shut in, Lord. Yeah. We call even now on Jehovah Rapha, God, our healer. Oh, God, God, we just thank you for this opportunity that we can come before you tonight. And we ask that you bless our pastor in a special way and yeah. continue, Lord, to keep him in good health. Bless all that are gathered here and we give you all glory we give you all honor and we give you all praise. For it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. We will now have our evening selection by Deacon John Kearney. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Yeah. We have the victory. Say. Oh, it's in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Satan will have to flee. Tell me who can stand before us when we call on that great name. His name is Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus. We have the victory. Oh, victory, we have victory, we have the victory, oh, victory, yes, victory, we have the victory. One more time, let's call his name, in the name of Jesus, 
In the name of Jesus, Corona has got to flee. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, everything that's not like him got to go. Tell me who can stand before us. When we call on that great name, his name is Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, we have the victory. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Deacon Kearney, for indeed the unity. We have the victory, and we thank you for that selection. New Unity, at this time, we ask that you gather your Bibles, your writing pens, your paper, all your biblical reference materials. As we now begin our Bible study lesson, please remember your church mints and also that bottle of water as we bring on now our very fine pastor, Pastor Golden, for tonight's lesson. Pastor Golden, the mic is now yours. Well, 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 well. Good evening, New Unity. What a blessing it is to see each of you. Happy New Year. I don't think I've seen you, most of you since, or some of you since last year. Been a whole year ago, 2021 when I last seen you, and now it's 2022. I'm glad to see every one of you tonight. Trust and pray that the new year has been favorable to you. If it has been, just give me a wave, amen, in these five days, amen. You can say it's been favorable to you. Yeah. We had great weather on Sunday. I think it was Sunday. We was in the 60s and Mondays we was in the 30s. Amen. And so all sorts of things are happening in the atmosphere. Uh, Pastor Carter would say, golden is God still speaking. Amen. And if he is speaking, how is he speaking and where is he speaking? Undoubtedly, the Lord church is speaking, isn't he? Amen. He's still in control. God is still in control of every situation, no matter how dire, D-I-R-E, no matter how dire it looks, God is still in control. Yes, I'm glad to see every one of you here tonight. Let me just say, say that thank you for tuning in this way. I'm getting ready for some more snow tomorrow, just in right. case you haven't heard. Amen. But that's all right. As they say, bless our God. Anyway, you bless me, Lord. We'll be satisfied. And some of us remember, if we are 29 and older, it normally does get cold in the wintertime. Maybe some of y'all need high technology. Maybe some of y'all hadn't, hadn't had that lesson in school yet. But somewhere in our uh, geography lesson and in our understanding, we, we heard that it gets cold <laughs> in the wintertime. So we ought not be uh, surprised by this, right? If you have your pens, there's several things I want, want to try to accomplish on this first night. Uh, back. We've been away, as it were, for two, three weeks and uh, and all the rest. And so uh, we're going to do a couple of things tonight. So one of the things I'm going to ask you to do, I'm going to give you a verse. You write it down now. And when I call on you, don't ask me, Pastor Golden, what verse did you give me? Because I'm not going to remember. So get your pen out. Amen. And uh, write it down. So when it's your turn, you'll be ready. Is that, is that all right? And that way I won't have to try all right, so we're going to begin here. First Lady, St. John 16.33. I'll say it twice, and then I'm moving. St. John 16.33. Uh, Deacon High, Isaiah 41.10. Uh, Deacon Philip Randolph, uh, Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Um, Deacon Vanessa Thomas, Psalm 34, 4. 5 and 8, that's 3, Psalm 34, 4, 5, and 8, Deacon Rosa Porter, Romans 8, 28, uh, Sister Sarah Johnson, Joshua, 1, 9, Sister Sarah Johnson, Joshua, 1, 9, uh, Sister Janie Alexander, uh, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, Sister Janie Alexander, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, Sister Pentecost, Sister Pentecost, Matthew 6, 31 through 34. Matthew 6, 31 through 34. Sister Cassandra Aduna, I hope you're able to unmute tonight uh, and sharing with us. Romans 15, 13, Sister Cassandra. Romans 15 and 13. Amen. Who did not call? Sister Thelma, did I call you? Sister Thelma. Sister Thelma, 2 Chronicles 7 and 14. 
Second Chronicles 7 and 14. Uh, who else did I miss? Just wave your hand. I can't necessarily remember you. you just wave your hand. Did I overlook somebody? Anybody that I didn't call? Did I get everybody as such? Okay. All righty. So you hold on to those verses. We're going to look at them in a, in a few moments. All right. And uh, when we call on you, uh, I, 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 I think I want to do several things tonight in this gathering tonight. One of the first things I want to do is talk about our first fruits celebration. Probably want to do that uh, several times this month of January. You know, we've been preaching out of uh, the Advent, right? Talk, talking about this Christmas story, about this Christ child, this fulfillment of the, of the word found in uh, Isaiah's writings in this uh, seventh chapter of Isaiah and this 11th chapter about this child who's going to come. And Micah talks about the, the prophet Micah, chapter five and verse two. And we have all of these Hebrew Bible, Old Testament scriptures, as we're talking about it. So we've been preaching and teaching about uh, this uh, this Advent uh, uh, occasion. I don't think that that such a propitious occasion, such a mo monumental occasion, that we should be like the world that when the 25th is over with, maybe about three o'clock, we're cleaning up, putting all the wrapping paper in the trash can and Christmas is over with and we're eating the trapping and that's it. We are Christians and Christmas uh, is what? What is Christmas? Anybody remember? Anybody tell me? Literally, li I, literally, I know it's a celebration of Christ, but what, do those, what does that word mean? Anybody recall? Christ mass of Christ, the mass right. of Christ. All right, so it is Chris Mass, C H R Christ or Christ Mass, Christ Mass. You write it down, you'll you'll remember it, and then when you look at it again, it is the mass of Christ. What is a mass? A mass is a feeding, a eating, a sharing, a fellowship. Uh, in the in the Catholic, in the Roman tradition, every time we go to worship, we have what? We call that a mass, right? And that's a service. What kind of service? It's a service of what? Of feeding. They are literally saying that they are what? Deacon High. They are saying that we are, write it down, please. We are eating the body of Christ. Every time we come to worship, we are going to what? Mass. Eat the body. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's exactly it. High. You're exactly right. We're eating the body. That's right. Because in every Catholic service, whether it's a funeral, whether it's a Sunday morning, whether it's a baby christening, we're going to do what? High. And every Eat the Catholic body of Christ. But literally, we're going to do what? You're Can't right. Eat, uh, eat the body of Christ through Christmas. Yes, but but help me just break it down a little bit more. We literally, every, every worship service, we're going to serve Holy Communion. Every service in the Catholic Church, we're going to serve, whether it's, yep. a, whether it's a birthday, a christening, the regular Sunday morning, we're going to have what high? Mass. Mass. We're going to have mass. And what is mass? It's the eating, the feeding off of Christ's body. So every time we come to worship, we are eating his body. All right? All right. He said to us in St. John 6 at the time, you remember this? When he says, listen, your father's talking to the children, to the people of Israel. He said, your fathers did what? They ate bread from heaven. Oh, in man. But what happened to them? Uh, Randolph, you remember what he said? They ate, but they... They that's it, high. They died. You use the word perish, but it's the same thing. They ate, they ate the manna from heaven, and yet they still didn't live. They were eating uh, what, we, yeah. what we call that food. What we call it? The manna. What we call manna. What we call it, Deacon Rhonda Thomas. Manna is angel food. Oh, yeah. Angel food. They ate angels' food and they still what? Die. Die. They still die. die. They ate bread from heaven and they what? Still, still die. die. He said, I am the true bread from heaven. If you eat from this bread and drink from this cup, you will never hunger and you will never thirst. That woman in St. John said what? St. John chapter 4 said what? Oh, Lord, give me a drink of that water. Mm. I remember when he was when he said, you know, and she said, you don't even have what? You don't even have a bucket. Give me something to drink. She said, Where your bucket? You ain't all oh, this COVID you're gonna get drink out of my cup. Where your bucket at? And he, she said, You don't have a bucket. 
could drink from the water that I have, you would never thirst again. What she says to Deronda, she said, oh my goodness, give me of that water that I may drink. So Christ's body is the feeding. We feed off of his body. You got it? So every time we come to church, like the Catholics, we are having what? Mass. What is mass? It is the service of eating. Eating what? The body of Christ. We only have Holy Communion what? Once a month. But they have it when? Every time. Because the scripture says what, Reverend? The scripture says what? Deacon Palin. Yes. The secret scripture says what, Deacon Porter? As often, as, often. As, as often as you do, do this in remembrance of me. You don't have to do it once a month, once a year, one, as often. So whatever tradition you follow it, whether you do it on a monthly, daily, yearly, as often as you gather together, it's appropriate to serve what? The Holy Communion. Or the Catholic, anybody know what they call it? Eucharist. 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 That's it. They whole, call it the EU, the E as in egg, U as in uniform, C as in cat, H as in Harry, A as in apple, R as in Rosa, I as in India, S as in Sam, T as in Tom, the Eucharist. All right. Or sometimes referred to as the Paschal. That's a very fancy word. P A S C H A L. P A S. P-A-S-C-H-A-L, Paschal Lamb, L-A-M-B, the Paschal Lamb. But they usually refer, refer to it as a Holy Eucharist. We will say the Holy Communion. All right, that's it. Thank you, Sister Rhonda. Eucharist, that's it. All right. So as often as we do it. Now, we say all that to say every time we gather together, it's appropriate to talk about feeding. It's appropriate to talk about, as we have for the past five, six weeks or more, about the Advent. So let's talk about several weeks, even though we're on the other side of our holy um, first fruit celebration. Let's talk about it so that as we can, so we can grow from it. And as we, each year we get stronger and stronger. How about that? Is that all right? So we had a great celebration. When do we celebrate this with the Tanya? I know you might be in school tonight trying to sneak in uh, from class, but when do we celebrate um, in the New Unity Baptist Church? I mean, not from a Bible standpoint, from the New Unity uh, Baptist Church, Sister Sarah Johnson, when do we celebrate uh, First Fruits? And when do we celebrate it, uh, Sister Pentecost, in the New Unity Baptist Church? We celebrated the first Sunday of the new year. All right, not necessary. One year is going to pop up on the calendar. January 1 is going to be the first Sunday of the new year, you know, just the way the calendar rolls, 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 uh, rolls right? So it can be as, as early as the first and no later than the seventh, right? For us, all right? It's always going to be the first Sunday of the new year. We do that. Why, Deacon Palin? Because it's the first of the year and we give it God now first. Because it's the first and it's a celebration of first fruit. Now let me encourage you, Deacon Thomas said it. Uh, she wrote it in her script, but I'm gonna I'm gonna let me amplify it a little bit. Uh, even if it even if you don't want to, and, that, and that's something I'm not a big water drinker, but get you a cup of water and let's take a swig every every now and then. Everybody, if you got any medicine in you, you need to get it out your body. You need to get it in there, but you need to you know, flush it, let me say flush it out, right? You need to flush it out. If you get a flu shot or you get, the, like me, you got 99 pills you take in a day. I don't take 99, it's, I only take 98, but uh, whatever. <laughs> uh, you need to flush all that stuff through your kidneys, don't you? Uh, amen. So uh, even if you're not crazy about water, everybody pick up a bottle and let's, uh, let's uh, a glass or a cup or something and let's take a swig, come on. Even if it ain't your thing, tonight let's make it our thing. So well, that one's done. And now I'm opening this one. All right. And this one's got to be gone by 8.05. All right. So, so we are, uh, anybody, anybody want to read uh, 
First John 3, 2 for me. Not the, not St. John, but the epistle all the way in the back, all the way in the back. Somebody located real quick. St. Not saying, I almost said saying. The Epistle of John, chapter 3, verse 2. Who has it? I got it. All righty. I'm listening. Whoever First John 3, 2. Yes. Beloved, now we the sons of God, and have not yet appear what shall, what shall be, but we know that when we shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. That's, that's not the one. I gave you the wrong one, Denise. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I gave you the wrong one. Let me look at it. All right. Thank you. Let Thank you on 1633, Pastor. No, no, that's not the one I wanted. Uh, thank you, uh, Leader. That's not the one I wanted, though. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. No, I wanted, I wanted, um, what did I ask you to read, Denise, please? You said three twos. First yeah. John three two. That's right. I wanted third third John. I apologize. Third John two, uh, two. That's it. Third, not three two, but three John two. That's a little hard. The epistle of John, the third epistle, the second verse. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be health and be in health even as thy soul prospers. That's what I wanted. Beloved, I, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in good health, mm -hmm. just as your soul prospers. But we want to we wanna take care of these old bodies of ours to the best of our ability and not leave here one day sooner than we're supposed to. Amen. Amen. All right. So, so, so we're, looking at, we're looking at first fruits. We, we, we receive first fruits on the first Sunday of the month, with which for us is the month of January. Anybody know who what January uh, got its name from? How we got the name January on our calendar? Anybody know that? Know that story? Janice, is it Janice? Janice, that's right, Sister Denise. It's from the Norse god. Right. Janice, J A N U S. Mm -hmm. You know, you know anything about that god, Sister Denise? Now we know these are not real gods, so nobody be offended. Now we're talking from a historical standpoint. If you know history. Right, but I say you got to believe in Abraham Lincoln, but you got to know he was our 16th president, whether you like him or not. So we're just talking from a historical standpoint. Anybody know anything about the Norse god? The Norse god Janus is a two headed god, and he's a god of the gate, G A T E, which is the god, the gate, which is the god of the opening. So January is the what for the year? First month, first one, first month of the year. The language I just used it is the opening of the year it's the opening of the year you're right high you're right but it is a what opening think about how they why they use it why they use opening right it is the god of the opening because the gate opens Jason. and so, so january is the god of janice because it is the opening of the year right uh opening just as my my month october i was supposed to have been born in what month sister Rhonda? I mean, I was born in October, but out of one through 12, what was I supposed to be at, according to October? What's yeah. the, the eighth month. Eighth month, or the prefix OCT o -C -T is eight. Eight. Like a stop sign is an octagon, right? Is that right, High? Right. Right, so I was supposed to be in the eighth month. I'm two years younger than I look. <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> but what happened? You had Julius Caesar. He got in there, named it, and put his month in there. What do you call his month? July. July. Julius. July. He got July in there, and then he, and then what name? Say, well, I'm gonna get in there. His name was Caesar uh, Augustus. Augustus, and he put August in there. You see. So then I got pushed back two months. I was born two months before <laughs> I was here. But I couldn't tell. I had to wait to celebrate on the, I'm the eighth month, October. You got it? November is supposed to have been the what? Nina, Nina, November. Nine. Nine. Ninth month. Dec, deca. What's a decimal? Ten. A tenth. Ten. A tenth, right? We, we right. did what we do it mathematically, we did with decimal. <clears throat> but when was December supposed to be? The tenth month. The tenth month. But you mm -hmm. see how they pushed all everybody back to all y'all are, are youngest. If you was born, before uh, June, you 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 old as you look. But if 
<laughs> but if you but if you were born after that, you're two years younger. <laughs> two months old. You're two months younger. <laughs> How about that? How about that? And if, <laughs> y'all have Lord have mercy. Say Lord have mercy. That, that they say in check. Y'all point your hands this way at it. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So where 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 would I before I got caught up in all that time? <laughs> Foolery. Anybody remember? You're talking about the uterus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 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 we're talking about this first fruit, and coming in January, and because it is the first month of the year, we give our first fruits offering in the first month because because the Lord requires of us the first, right? And uh, and he and we 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 want we want to always honor Him. With the first of our increase, I see Deacon Sandra Jackson has a basket still as her icon or her avatar, as it were, uh, uh, on the monitor tonight. We want to honor God with the first fruits, the first oil, the first grain, and we give that to him that, that it might be redeemed. And then he gives us uh, the blessings of his, of his presence and of his, of his favor. So let me say to every one of you, for every dollar, for every 50 cent, for every quarter, for every dime, for every nickel, for every penny, and any other coins that you have thrown it through, threw in some uh, foreign coins. We thank you for from the bottom of our heart for every coin, dollar bill, uh, and multiple dollar bills, 20, 50, 100,000, million, whatever, that you gave, we want to say again to you, we want to thank you. We want to talk about that every week during this month of January, how much we are appreciative of each of you. And to help us all continue to grow, I believe, Deacon Vanessa Thomas, that there are still others who want to give. We got a call from, from uh, one of our leaders in the church, and that means all of you, so it could be any one of you, who said Pastor Golden was just so moved by the worship on Sunday past that I've been moved to send in another 500 after sending in my initial gift, right? I'm sending in another 500. Mm -hmm. uh, today, one of our younger members, uh, under 40, sent in another $200 gift, blessed by God, by, by the strength of Sunday's gathering and, and the worship that we have. And I believe in by faith that there are others of you who will say, Pastor Golden, I'm sending in it, send it in, send it in, in an additional gift. Uh, as God has blessed me and just how I was so moved by the message and by the spirit of God. And it is the spirit of God that moves us. Amen. Particularly on what? On spiritual matters. Amen. Spiritual matters. It takes, it takes, we call that what we call that high. When we say that I, I as spirit and moved by spirit from the mathematical standpoint that we talk about so often, we call that being moved by what? In a mathematical sense. I, that's a little. I, that's a little convoluted. So I don't think that's. I don't think I made that clear. Uh, we, we we talk about moving by the by the by the least common denominator. That takes spirit to move spirit. Flesh can't move spirit. It takes spirit to move spirit. Let's see, five apples and three oranges is how many apples? High. Five apples. Five apples and three oranges can never be eight apples. It can't be eight oranges. It can be eight apple oranges if you want to try to do that. But it can, so we got to find a least common denominator. In this case, we might say what? Might we might say somebody fruit. Spirit. We might say fruit, fruit, not spirit. Fruit, 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 fruit. We might, say, we might say fruit, right? And so five apples and three apples. We could say now I have what? Eight pieces. Eight, of fruit. eight, eight pieces eight fruit. of fruit. But I couldn't say I have eight apples. I right. could eight oranges but i could say because i had now have a what least common denominator yeah yeah that's you know just you know, trying to leave you you know how remember hansel and gretel how did you know how they got found they left a bread trunk and that's bread all I, that's bread all i said and in my teaching, and if, if, if don't if y'all if y'all follow the breadcrumb, I'm trying to lead you right. There. I just don't want to give you the answer. I want you to think it through for yourself. But I'm trying to give you some breadcrumbs in a spiritual sense that you can pick up the breadcrumb and, and and lead you right to the answer. 
All right. So don't overthink it too much. You know, just, uh, just, just try to just pick up the bread, breadcrumb and, and follow it. And uh, as I, I often like to tell people that I, that I, that I engage with, you're smarter than you think. Just don't overthink it. You, you know, you, you think, think um, it's there. Jesus, when Jesus was talking to the people, uh, the, the average person he talked to were what? Were just that, average, average people. Average people. They weren't, they weren't sophisticated, educated, been to Harvard, been to Morgan, been to University of Georgia. They were just average people. So you talk to them in what? What we call them in many times? Layman's terms. Layman's terms and in? Parables. Parables. Okay. And they could understand. It's common language and the things they understood. Mm -hmm. And they got the understanding of spiritual matters that sometime today, 2,000 years later, wind up what? Confounding us because we are, in many cases, overthinking. All right. Follow me? And, 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 and the Bible is not designed to trick you, right? It ain't designed to make you, oh, Lord, what in the world is he saying that? No, that's not. That, now, that may be man's way to make you think, oh, Pastor Golden, he deep. Oh, he deep. Yeah, he deep in it, all right. But uh, but that ain't what we're talking about. No, no, no. The Bible is not designed to, to try to trick you or to fool you or try to get you to uh, have a headache trying to figure it out. It is, it is profound, but it's so simple at the same time. Okay. All right, who's got my first scripture tonight? Who has the first one? I do, Pastor. Go right ahead, please. Okay. 1 John 16, verse 33. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's St. John 16, verse 33. All right. Okay. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. All right. Now, this is a little test, and I'm going to give you the answer at the beginning of the test. So when I get to the end, everybody's got 100. All right, this is a test. All 15 of these verses have a common denominator. Tell me what it is once we finish. I'm already, so I'm not waiting till you hear all 15 of them. I'm asking, so you're listening. What is, some of them Old Testament, some of them Hebrew Bible or, or, or New Testament, right? What's the common denominator and all 15 of these verses tonight. So lady just read, let's hear it one more time since, since you know since you know where the test is going. Now you can think about it as you listen to your own and the other 14. All righty, go right ahead. These things have I spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. All righty, think about that. All right, who has the next verse? I do fast. I'm reading Isaiah 41, 10. Yeah. Isaiah 41, 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Isaiah 41, 10. All right. Who has the next one? I think that could have been me, Pastor. Righty. Uh, Philippians, fourth chapter, verses six and seven. Yes, sir. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, so keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Philippians 4, 6, and 7. All right. Okay, who has the next one, please? Sister Porter, Romans 8, 28. All right. And we know uh -huh. that all things work together to, for good. To them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. Romans 8, verse 28. All righty. Sounds good. 
Who has the next one, please? Either, either Psalm 34 or Joshua 1. Who, who wants to go? Taking Vanessa Thomas, right. Psalms 34, verses 4, 5, and 8. Yes, I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him, and they were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. All right, wonderful. All right. Who has the next one, please? You ain't ready, just jump in there. Anybody got another one? If you haven't read, I know I gave out more than four. Yeah, Romans, Romans 15, 13. Yes, ma'am. Now, excuse me. Go right ahead. Oh, Romans 15, 13. Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in the hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. All righty. All righty. So Sarah Johnson. Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. Yes, ma'am. Have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whatsoever thou goest. All right, wonderful, wonderful. Sister Janie Alexander, are you able to unmute and read for us? If you are, Sister Janie, you star eight, star six, star eight, star six if you are. If not, that's okay. All right. How about you, Sister Dixon, Sister Pentecost? Can you hear me, Pastor? Yes, ma'am. Hear you loud and clear. All right. Matthew 6, chapter 31 through 34, verse. Therefore, take no thought, saying, what shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or whether withal shall we be clothed? Well, after these things, go right here. We can hear for you. For after these, okay. For after these things, do the Gentiles seek? For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for the morrow. For the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself, sufficient until the day is the evil thereof. Wonderful. All right. Now, did I miss anybody? Is somebody I had a hey, Pastor. Go right ahead, please. Uh, Sister Thelma, Second Chronicles 18, 14. When he came to the king, the king said to him, Michael, are we to go to Rome, Roma land to make war or not? And he said, go up, and it will go well for you, and they will be given up unto your hands. All righty. Anybody else that I uh, called or didn't call? All right. Anybody want to take a guess, take a gander at uh, what these verses have in common? Me? I'll go ahead, Brother Derek. Giving? Giving, okay. We'll, we'll put giving down. Anybody else? Uh, walk, walking through faith. What was that, Brother Derek? Walk, walking through faith. Walking with faith. That I like that too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Anybody else? Peace, hope, and confidence in God. Peace, hope, and confidence in God. That sounds good. I like that very much. Anybody else? Deacon Pamela, I had. In God. Oh, go ahead on the phone, sister, sir. Sarah, go right ahead. Trust in God. Trust in the Lord. Trust in God. All right. Deacon Palin. All right. And I'm piggybacking right on that. I had to have no fear to trust and follow God. No fear to trust and follow God. Anybody else? Deacon Vanessa Thomas, piggybacking on Sister Sarah and Sister Denise Palin. They were my words. Anybody else got a pig at home you want to back on? <laughs> Anybody else want to piggyback? All right. All right. I have, I have faith. <laughs> All right. Over fear. 
Okay, all right. This all right. little piggy had roast beef. This little piggy had. <laughs> all right, everybody else got a little piggly wiggly. All right, down south where I'm from, you know, the piggly wigglies are big stores down south. They got a big oh, yes, they But down south, piggly wigglies are, you know, they like, they, like the, they like the Safeways and the Giants and all that. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. Anybody else? All right. What about, what about confidence? Confidence. Yeah, Brother Jeff. Absolutely. I, uh, Brother Jeff, can you find for me, since you brought that up, can you find First John? All the way in the back of your Bible, brother uh, Jeff, First John chapter five and verse fourteen. When you get it, you let me know. First John, all the way in the back, not Saint John now, but the Epistle, First John chapter five and verse fourteen. And so, uh, every one of you are right, and I don't have anything to change or alter on that. All of these are verses that are, that are that are intended to encourage you, faith over fear, confidence. As brother Jeff had uh, had just said to encourage us uh, uh, in whatever station of life we find us on. And let me just say to each of you, you know, and, and you can share this with others, when we come on and pastor gives a verse like that or gives a reading, uh, I think two people got frightened and they hung up or they didn't want their voice. All you got to do is do two things. Two people did it tonight. So the Janie was unable to, to unmute or whichever case I can't see, you know, whatever she's doing, but she's listening. And then Sister Thelma, she read what she wanted to read. She didn't read the verse I gave her. She just read the verse. And I said, go ahead. Sorry. I gave you that. No, you just read what you want. You know it. And I said, that's, that's New Year. I gave her 2 Chronicles 7, 14. She read 2 Chronicles 18. I said, go ahead and read, girl. I didn't stop until she finished. Amen. So you I'm trying to read that? I, no, no, no. No, it's not important. It's, it's important. But not, the point of what I'm trying to make, the bigger point I'm trying to make, Sister Thelma, is the engagement. Don't, don't, don't. Don't don't run away from grace. Don't run away from growth. That's the word, you know. And if you don't want to read, or you guys say no, thank you, Pastor, or unmute. I can't make you unmute, Sister Janie. Whatever she's doing, she didn't unmute. So that's great. She's present though, Sister Tanya. She didn't unmute. She's present though, Sister Tam. She's you know she's present. You you follow what I'm saying? So if if you call and you can't read, or you don't want to read, or whatever, all you gotta do is. Don't just don't run away from it. That's all I want to say. Yes, sir. Because, because yes. That, she, that she is. That she is, Sister Janie. I'm, I am. I am so sorry. No, no. You don't have to be sorry, Sister Janie. You, 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 uh, you, 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 you were a good example for tonight to help us understand the, the growth that is available to us. And so I'm so glad that you were able to to be here and to unmute now. You got a verse, Sister, Sister Janie. You want to read? Um, you can ask him to read John 5. I can read that. You can read, you can do like Thelma. You can pick yours and read. Go ahead. Or, <laughs> or, or you can read John 5. It's, it's the way you do it, I'm, I'm going to be satisfied. Right, okay, right. what verse? You want me to read the whole chapter 5 or? No, no, no not, not, not tonight, Sister, uh, Sister Jane. <laughs> okay. Maybe, maybe next so week. Maybe next Wednesday. So what do you want me to read? <laughs> As they say, oh, now, now hold your mule now, said the Jane. Don't get excited. Don't start shouting yet, just yet now. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, but what did you want me to read? Well, I got to look at my list. I told you, then I tell y'all, oh. y'all going to do that to me. Get me, uh, <laughs> get me to tell y'all what I was. Uh... So. Let me look here, Sister Janie. So you have St. John chapter 5. Right. That's a great lesson, by the way, chapter 5 uh, of John. So let's, let me have you read 34 and 35, please. St. John chapter 5, verses 34 and 35. Okay. Yeah. Okay, wait a minute. No way. You had the wrong John? Yeah. No problem. Yeah, that one that sells L-U-K-E, that's not the John I want. 
I want the one that's, <laughs> that's, the, that's the other John. Yeah, this is this is St. John, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Right. Yes, ma'am. Chapter 5. And if you can read 34, um, 34 and 35. Okay. But I received not testimony from man, but these things I say that ye might be saved. That's right. He was a he was a burning and a shining light, and ye were willing for a season to rejoice in his light. Well, while in his light, that's it. That's exact. Thank you, Sister Janie. Now let me use this because this is a great example for us tonight, right? I, I use those two words. So let me let me use those words again. What we want to do when we gather and gather like this, Deacon Porter, we want to give you, the church, an opportunity for what, Brother Randolph? What, Deacon Palin, Christian Ed? For growth. We want to give you an opportunity for growth. In the process, you may be like Sister Janie, trying to find your particular scripture. You may be like Sister Thelma, trying to find your particular scripture. Then we exercise, what's the other GR word? We want to exercise grace. We want we want we want to you to be able to exercise what growth, growth. growth. The church wants to exercise in dealing with her members what grace. 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 You got it. Can I say that yes. again? All right. Yes. We want you as we are dealing with you, but on every aspect, but particularly in a Wednesday night setting, because there's less formality. You know, Sunday morning, we can't open up the mic and say, hey, Sister Mary, you speak. Hey, Brother Joe, you speak. Hey, Brother Bob, you speak. Hey, so you can't do that on a Sunday morning as such. But on a Wednesday night, as such, we have a more, 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 more uh, levity to, and more latitude. That's the way I want to use more latitude to do this. So we want to offer you an opportunity for what? Growth. Yeah. Growth. Come on, write it down. I just say, if y'all pick up these breadsticks, I'm telling you, these breadcrumbs, you, you know, that you want, you'll, you'll find out the answers are right there. Don't try to overthink it. You'll find, and for growth, and then in dealing with you as you are going through your struggles <laughs> of locating it and finding it and adjusting your glasses and finding out you're in St. John, but you really want to be in 1 John and you're in chapter 5 and you really want to be in chapter 6, we want to exercise on the church's standpoint, what? Grace. 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 All right. Everybody got that? So yes. you got growth yes. for the member and then mm -hmm. grace for the church that she is, as she is operating. And then that gives all of us an opportunity to participate, you see. So that even if I'm not the greatest reader, if I'm not the greatest student, I still have an opportunity to grow. So, and, and if I don't want to, all I have to simply do is what, Sister Thomas, Sister Rhonda? Decline. That's all I got to do. We ain't going to embarrass you. Right? You just climb and we just go to the next person. Right? And then two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks, six, ten weeks of the road, you'll have your hand up. Say, I don't know. And guess what you'll be saying? What you'll be saying, Sister Rhonda? Not you, but what, what do the other folk will be saying, Sister Rhonda? Can I read? No, no, they won't. They, can, I, you know, they be saying, can I participate? No, no, they won't. You know, they be saying, they call you up after us all over. What's my grace? No, no, so Sarah, no, they won't. Mm -hmm. I don't know why he don't call on me. Now, I don't know why he don't call on me. I was ready tonight. Mm -hmm. you know, for, the, for the past 99 weeks, you didn't want to read. But now that you you had the opportunity, given that GR word, to grow, grow. grow. You had an opportunity. No, grow. you, had, you had an opportunity to grow. Now right. you're ready to what? Participate. Right. That's right. what we want. You see, that's the true measure of the church. As you grow, then you will have opportunity yeah. to participate. You follow me? Because you may not be at that level yet, but through, through the course of five weeks, seven weeks, 10 weeks, whatever, a million weeks. We don't have that many weeks, but you understand what I'm saying, right? Then you're in a place, you're ready to grow. And then when you grow, you're ready to participate. Now you say, oh, he didn't call on me tonight. I was ready tonight. And I said, oh, you were, you was, was you. Okay, we're going to get you next week for sure, right? And that's how we grow together. Now, I say all this now. Now, I, I want to bring those verses out tonight because we're in this environment. Here we are in the first month of the year, Minister Dixon, right? 
we got a report <laughs> uh -huh. tonight that our leader, Deacon Hoover, um, she's waiting on her results to get back from her COVID uh, test, right? She'll get that tomorrow or Thursday, or tomorrow th or Friday, hopefully tomorrow, right? She and her husband both were not feeling well, Brother Philip, Philip Hoover. And so they went and got a quick test today. He was he was um, uh, found to be positive, right? And so um, they quarantined him downstairs, and she's upstairs there, he, and they're wearing masks and and all that sort of thing. Some of you know he's a cancer survivor, so he may have to get. They're going to see if the doctor will authorize a, a mono, monoclonal um, um, uh, antibiotic. That's the word. Thank you, there, sister, because see, she grew uh, <laughs> and, and antibiotics, uh, and uh, and and see if he can, you know, be a candidate for that. His uh, primary will talk to them tomorrow uh, about that. And uh, we've had other uh, brother Dixon, brother Francis Dixon Jr. Uh, he's uh, still somewhat under the weather. Is that right, sister Dixon? I think he's coming out of it, but he's yes. not. A, he's not a hundred percent there. And how yes, you doing? how you doing there, Sister Pentecost? Well, Pastor, I've been quarantined three times. <laughs> I was first getting COVID, then uh -huh. Francis got it. Now they called yesterday. Now Senior has it, <laughs> so I'm still quarantined again three times. You had quarantine three times in your house and uh, in the house. I'm in the I'm in a room here in the room, TJ downstairs in the room. Mm. And yeah. And the sister, uh, Rhonda, somebody just put up something. Who was that put something? Yeah, Tiara, she got the antibodies, I think the third day after she contracted COVID and she went and got them and it made her feel so much better. So I hope that Phil can get it because it will really make him feel a lot better. Okay, good. Glad to hear that. Mm. Glad to hear that. Glad to hear that. And we're not for forcing anybody uh, from the church. You know, we can't, we, nobody's going to be kicked out the church now. This, this is not a religious matter. But but I do want you to know, for as long as we are in this uh, environment, you know, if you don't want to hear it, then you just turn your mic down when it comes that time. Because I'm going I'm to talk about it every time we come together, uh, say something about it. <laughs> And, and then you do what you want to do. Right. We ain't going to embarrass anybody. Amen. Amen. We ain't going to make nobody feel small or ugly or foolish or silly. But I'm going to tell you what I believe. Amen. Amen. Right. When I was a little boy, and it, anybody know what the doctor who came out with the with the uh, polio pill, what his name was? That's the salt. That's it. That's it, sister Porter. S A L K. Jonas Salk, right, and I was a little boy, and uh, President Roosevelt had um, as one one reason we don't have any silver dimes and silver dollars anymore because they well he was collecting all those dimes, wasn't he? Because y'all some of y'all remember when we had the March of Dimes, and uh, he had polio, and we were trying to collect all those dimes. I remember that as a kid because we used most of them in World War II for making bombs and bullets. And bullets. But we had the March of Dimes to, to overcome. And I was a little boy. I took the polio uh, uh, pill. Amen. I took it. I took the, when the, I didn't have no choice when it was, I was an infant. I got the rubella shot. Uh -huh. the measles shot. Now, I'm not saying you should or you should. Now, I am saying you should. But whether you do or not is what? Is what I it's entirely up to the individual. Entirely up to the individual. And we're not going to sit here and tell you what you stupid, you crazy, you ugly, you foolish, right? We are what? Not going to do that. So no one should be uh, upset. You should only say, Pastor Golden is sharing with us what? What he believes is a good, uh, a good method for us. But if you choose to go a different way, he says, God be praised next. So don't so don't get so don't start fussing with me because you start fussing with me, God ain't gonna be happy with you. Right. But I'm not gonna fuss with anybody. I'm just gonna simply share. I believe you ought to go get the shot, sister. Next. Mm -hmm. Amen. Next. True. Now, if you want to fuss and holler and cuss and carry on, you, you then you missed the you missed it. Amen. 
I'm just going to share with you. Just as you say, Pastor, I broke my leg. Well, okay, I think you ought to go to the hospital and get it set. Now, if you don't, it's what high? That's up to you. It's up to you. It's up to you. Walk on that the rest of your life. That's, that's your choice. But Pastor Golden is going to tell you what? I think go you ought to go face. to the hospital and have them x-ray it mm -hmm. and see what they tell you. Now, if you choose not to do that, that's what? Up to you. Up to you. Sure. But don't ask, don't think I'm not going to say, so, well, Brother Randolph, I think you ought to go to a hospital, man, and, and have them x-ray that thing and see what they think. And then mm -hmm. after that, that's up to Philip Randolph. That's up to Wanda Golden. That's up to Vanessa Thomas. That's up to everybody. Amen. 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 I think is, but I think it's good therapy. Go to, go to the hospital, get your leg x-ray, or whatever the case may be. So we've had any number of COVID in our, in our, right in our fellowship, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Sister Mill, I talked to Mill yesterday, Deacon Kearney. Uh, she sounded as good as good could be. I saw her yesterday via Zoom. I was with her for about two and a half hours. Talked and sounded just as good as any of us tonight. 24 hours later, we don't know the results, but in her case, but we do know about her husband. And so we're going to pray tonight when we close out that, that she'll be okay. We know we hear about Brother Francis. We heard Sister Pentecost say she's been in quarantine. Now this is her third quarantine, all right, in her home. And others of us mm -hmm. have had some symptoms, you know, whether you actually have it or not. And they tell me it's so much like the flu. It's, it's sometimes difficult to tell the difference in some cases, right? That's so we just want to pray. Isn't it good to know that on Sunday we began that prayer of faith? Right. Yes. Huh? Isn't, that, right. isn't that right? Yes. Now, yes. Now, now somebody tell me what does the F stand for? Faith. Faith. All right. Faith. Now what does the A stand for? Adoration. Adoration. All right. What does the I stand for? Intercession. Intercession. What does the H? I mean the T stand for? Thanksgiving. And the H stand for. Healing. 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 And, we, and we just gonna make that H a double A since it's a we're gonna say health and healing. All health right. Healing. Yeah. Which is the same thing, really, because you understand you can't spell health without spelling heal, right? Right. right. Is that right? So you know it's right. you know it's coming from the same root word. You can't spell health without spelling heal. So we but health and healing. Amen. And we began that on Sunday. Amen. And we're going to continue to believe it and pray and ask God. So all these verses tonight. Really, I didn't want to do a lesson as much as to send a word to everyone to encourage you tonight, to encourage you of what the word of God is saying, that God is not God has not forgotten us, nor has he forsaken us. That God has not forgotten us, right, Brother Derek, nor has he forsaken us, Sister, Sister Janie, that even in this COVID environment, and we're trying to get our what, our minds wrapped around it, aren't we? We really are. What in the world is going on? And what Pastor Carter said to Golden, is God speaking? And if he is, what is he saying to us? Right. What we need now is not only people who can, who can uh, give us the word, but now we need people who can do what? Interpret this word. What God is saying to us, Joseph, what God is saying to us, Daniel, we need some men who can read the writing on the wall. We see the writing on the wall. We're in trouble. But we need a Daniel, don't we? That right. can interpret that, right? You remember that, yeah. Daniel? Yeah. Me, yeah. Me, me, you tell your father, thou hast been weighed in the balances and found wanting. We need somebody who can. We, we, we know the Pharaoh has had this dream, Joseph. We need somebody to what? Interpret this yeah. dream. Tell us what this dream is, right? So we know we're in trouble in America. Who don't know that? Mm. Everybody knows that. We know we need some men and women today, don't we? Who can tell us what is God trying to say to us, trying to get our attention to us? And maybe we can pick this up next week and, and think about it. Huh? What is God saying to us? And uh, it'll be January the 12th by the grace of God. Should he tarry, right? What is God saying to us? And, and how should we be responding to the words that God is saying to us in this in this age and in this time. Amen. 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 All right, we're going to yield back to our leaders for the night, our presider, Deacon Vanessa uh, Thomas. Thank you, Pastor, um, for this teachable moment. We're always growing, we're always learning. And we thank you for our lesson on tonight. At this time, we're going to have our 
offering for the evening. And we're gonna ask our sister Sarah Johnson if she would come on now with our offering appeal. Sister Sarah. Good, good evening to unity. Let us prepare for our midweek Bible study and discipleship training offering. We are so grateful for the ways you continue to support this church yeah. and the mandate that God has set before us. Our two ways to give are Cash App, Dollar Sign, New Unity, Baltimore, or if you like, you can mail into P.O. Box 313, Chase, Maryland, 21027. Again, that's P.O. Box 313, Chase, Maryland, 21027. Let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, yes. we come together to say thank you. Yes, because Lord. we know that you are our provider. Yeah. Thank you for the opportunity that we share together one more time. And we will give you the glory and the honor and the praise. Amen. 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 Thank you, Sister Sarah. At this time, we'll turn it over again to Pastor Golden for our closing remarks and our new temple update. Pastor Golden. Great. Thank you so very much, Lita. Amen. Thank you so very much. What I want to do is turn it back over to you. It's according to my clock, 802. Somebody might have a 15, 20, 30 second word that they want to share about the about first fruit on any level. Uh, how it bless you, or what you, or how God bless you to give, or just in a general sense. It, it doesn't have to be about you, but about first fruit. It, the, I'm going to give you the opportunity right now. Anybody want to say a word about first fruit? The opportunity is yours. I'll say something, Sister Thelma. Right uh, I thank the Lord that I was that I was blessed that I was able to give something this year. Um, all the other couple of years ago, I wasn't able to give anything, but I was blessed to do something this year. It wasn't what I was supposed to put out, but it was something. So I'm grateful that I was able to do that for me and my children. We call that a start, don't we, to the thumb? Right. Yes. Amen. Amen. God be praised. Anybody else? All right. Nobody else? Nobody else got it. Now, listen, let me just, I'm, I'm, I'm going to shame all y'all because this is the highest day in the year for us in terms of our giving. Yes. Now, hold one minute, but John, let me just. The highest day in the Christian calendar is what? In the Christian calendar, deacons, all you deacons give me the answer at one time. What's the highest day in the Christian calendar, deacon? Every deacon, yeah. high high. what's the highest day in the Christian calendar, deacons? The first giving. The highest day in the Christian calendar is Easter, Resurrection Easter. Sunday. Write it down, deacons. Don't try to remember it without writing it down. The highest day in the Christian calendar is a res nothing matters if he don't get up from that grave. Okay. Nothing matters. Fifty million dollars past Sunday in the offering bucket won't be nothing if he don't get up from that grave. The highest day in the Christian calendar is what, Sister Rhonda Thomas? Resurrection. Resurrection Easter. Sunday. Easter Sunday. That's right. That's the highest day. Everything else comes second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and we put giving in there somewhere. But we know it's given because what? John 3.16 says what? Well, God so loved, loved the world. world. He gave, he gave his only begotten son. That's he that gave. gave. We know it's about giving because God loved us so much that he gave. And so you can't get past it. All right? Brother Kearney, go ahead, please, sir. Good evening. Oh, real fast, fast. I just wanted to share that. I gave, ahead, uh, my, I gave my first fruit. Yes, sir. And we have a process here at work when, when management don't do what they're supposed to do based off our contract that we have. Yes. So we can file this grievance. Well, I file grievances that ever so often against management. Some you win, some you lose. Well, just so happened after giving first fruit, I get a report that I won a grievance against management. 
Uh-huh. And this has been one of the large, the largest settlements that I've gotten my in my postal career since wow. I've been in. Uh, a ni- nice little amount that's that's going to be added to my next check. And so I praise God for that. But it's, I mean, prior to that, it was like we might get a few pennies here and there. But this right. has been like the largest one that I've, I've gotten. I was like shocked and all. Like, what? Okay, okay. Praise the Lord. So <laughs> it, it pays. It give, give and it shall be given back that's to you. That's right. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Brother John. And see, we're not asking you what you gave. We didn't ask nobody how much you gave. We just asked you to say a word about, about the value and the blessings of first. Now, if you want to tell what you gave, God be praised. But we ain't trying to put nobody on the spot whether you gave $2 or $2 million. Amen. Anybody else want to say a word? Well, it's always a privilege, Pastor, uh, to give because God deserves everything, everything that we have and everything that we receive is a gift from God, period. Yeah. So so at the very least, we we are, ought to be joyous about being able to give something back to demonstrate our gratitude. Amen. Amen. Anybody else? I mean Pastor Gold is me, Dark. Yes, sir. I get, I put in two mics today. You listen to that message, son. You put in them two mics. I heard it. Guess what? <laughs> we received it with, with, with Thanksgiving, yeah. Brother Derek. You see, yeah. we ain't talking about See how Brother Derek brought it up? He, boy, yeah. now, that's the gospel right there. And yeah. everybody yeah. asked you how much you gave high, right. how much you gave Vanessa, how much you gave Sister Tam, how much you gave Sister Sarah. If anybody tell you that, then, they, then you need to go back and say, wait a minute now. I don't remember hearing that. That ain't true. But we said it'll give you an opportunity to say a word about that. And then Brother Derek says, hey, I put in the two mics today. Amen. And we say what? God be praised because that's straight from the scripture. That's straight straight from the scripture. That ain't, in fact, let me say like we say down south, not S-T-R straight, but straight. That's straight. S-C-R-A. That's straight from the scripture. He said, I put in my two mice today. And guess what? Jesus Jesus said, this widow who gave her two mice, she she did better than everybody else because she gave all she had. All she had. Amen. Amen. Anybody else care to say a word? Well, we're grateful to God for every one of you. We really are. We'll pick it up next week. We'll we'll, we'll talk about it throughout this month of of January. And all we're trying to do is do what there, Reverend Golden? What are we trying to do? Remember those breadcrumbs? Grow. Give you an opportunity for growth. That's all this is designed to do. Give every one of us an opportunity for growth. Amen. Now you have to make up in your mind whether you're going to grow or not. But don't, but the opportunity is yours. Amen. The opportunity is each of ours. And I hope that as we continue throughout this month, we'll continue to grow. I want to again say thank you to yeah. every one of you from the uh from the youngest brother Jeffrey, I believe maybe the youngest, to the most senior Deacon Rosa Porter, and to all of us in between, where well, she almost as old as me. And everybody else in between, I believe. Um, in the, in the day, brother, brother Randolph, um, is the day Andrea's birthday? Your yes. niece, Andrea? Yes. Uh, yes. Yes, yeah. it is. She thinks she's grown. Do you tell her she ain't grown? You better know it. <laughs> Absolutely, Pastor. Yeah, 18 years old today. She ain't grown. Yeah, I think my I think my niece Danette's birthday today, I think. And my grand and my her brother, I think he's gonna be up the road a couple more days. And then next, what today? Wednesday, next, next, next Tuesday would be my father's birthday on the 11th of January, if he were alive. But we're thanking the God. Caden turned seven. Is that right? All right, Caden turns the seven. You mean 27. That boy. Mm-hmm. Oh, sister Rhonda. Yes, indeed. Who was that was reading Sunday? That was DJ Arca's son. And how, old is, how old is he? He's eight, eight, nine. He's nine. He read like he's about oh, 10, 12. Boy, wonderful reader. Yeah, he read like he's Thank about you. 10, 12 years old. Wonderful, wonderful. Wow, yes. All right, any questions, comments before we close? We're going to close the prayer. Anybody else question, comment? All right. Any prayer requests anybody want to uh, position out, place out? All right, Pat's going to pray for um, pray for my girlfriend Linnea and pray, and pray for um his whole entire family. My girlfriend Linnea now feeling too good. Just 
keep her family safe and keep her whole entire family. Yeah, it, um, pray for this city of Baltimore. Amen. Amen. You got Amen. You. Gotcha. All right. Anybody else? Let me have you say, hi, is, is, is Linnea part of your family? Hi. No, sir. I don't know why I thought she might have been Michael's child. Or, no, sir. Okay. I, you know, you, you get things in your head, you know. Michael's child, that's, that, that's uh, what those two girls' names? Rakia. Uh, yeah. Anisha. Yeah. And then, then what's those other two? Are uh, oh, you talking about Shannon and and uh, Lisa? Uh, so what's your child's name? Talking about, you talking about my brother Charles? Charles, mm -hmm. Charles is babies, yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, sir. Yeah, that's Shannon and uh, Lisa. Oh, uh, Lisa. Lisa. That's Lisa. It, that's it. Yeah, Charles. Right. 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 I remember him and his uh, and his family. Yes. All right, right. Right. I got it now. All right. Anybody else? Just want to um, lift up the Palin family, the Hoover family, Thomas family. Got mm -hmm. it, Denise. Amen. Anyone else? Yes, Pastor. This high again. I I had to go to uh, the doctors today, and I had to have the COVID test done, so I'm waiting for the results. But I'm praying that it would be negative. With Nikki being here with lupus, we don't we can't take that kind of chance. So Absolutely. I went on and had it done again today. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Amen. Good. Good. Anybody else? And let me tell you, if you can get it, get it. Uh, for, right. for one of the few things that the government giving us is free. And so right. it's going to cost you nothing to buy. And you That's can go to right and find out and get it. So if you're concerned about it, until they tell you don't come, you go ahead and come. Right. And when they tell you don't come, then you, then you, you know, but in the meantime, you take advantage of it. Right. Right. Pastor. Yes, sir. I got my booster yesterday. Okay. Yes, sir. And I had to, you know, make sure it was all the same thing. Right. I got have gotten a uh, booster earlier, but it would it, it was different. So I yeah. wanted to keep it all, you know, uh, consecutive. And so I got my uh, right. my booster yesterday. Wonderful, wonderful. Proud of you. Great. Anybody else? Yes, yes ma'am. Yes. This is Cassandra. Yes. I'm happy here. I made it to be a, a true senior citizen on January the 1st. I was 75 years old. But I'm asking for my, my, my. Amen. Amen. you 75 on the 1st? January the 1st, three minutes after one, yes. <laughs> wow. But we need prayer for Sister Arnell and Sister Janola, please. All righty, Sister Inel and Sister Janola, lifting them up. Amen. Thank you, Sister Cassandra. You all, you 75, you're older than my father. And I'm 70. Well, that's all right. I I'm got it. You're older than my daddy. All right, next. Uh, <laughs> Sister Thelma, pray for the Henderson family, please. Right, Sister Thelma, amen. Right. amen. Anybody else? Sister Vanessa, continue prayer for healing. All righty. Got you, Sister Vanessa. Anybody else? Just also, just, just want to pray for all those who are currently going through this, some of these tragedies that are going on across our world, across our nation. Um, not sure if everybody's heard about the fire or killing us. 13 people were killed in a fire in, in Philadelphia, and seven of them, I believe, were children. Hmm. Um, and there's just so many going through with the tornadoes and that kind of thing that are going. Just pray for all those who are going through and then those who are in, uh, in bereavement. Amen. Yeah, Brother John, that broke my heart when I read that story. Those seven children. Yeah, that was, uh, whew. Anybody else? Hey, Pastor, pray for, um, I, um, hey, Pastor, pray for my sister, and pray, pray for my sister, my father, just pray, and pray for my whole entire family. That's your Brother Jeff, absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Well, we're going to bow our heads. Deacon Rosa Porter, our mother, going to ask you if you let me just mention this. Um, a good friend of mine passed away on Sunday. You may have heard of it, maybe not, but uh, uh, some of you may remember Pastor Boya Freeman. 
uh, New St. Mark's Baptist Church on the corner of Garrison Boulevard and West Forest Park. Pass oh, away. Wow. Yeah. And he he was my customer at the bank. Mm -hmm. No, is that right, Denise? Mm -hmm. Yeah, lived out in Columbia. Um, yeah. Passed away on Sunday, his funeral mm -hmm. this Sunday. Um, um, mask only, and you have to have proof of COVID shot if you're going to be at Bond Green uh, service. And uh, so we're praying for him. His family, his wife, just, just I'll give you this. She had been living in Georgia. She was a curator, an art curator uh, at a museum in Georgia. Finally got hired, as I recall, by Reginald Lewis Museum, wow. oh, maybe about five or six months ago. And so she was able to move here. And sort of like uh, Bishop Bass High McKenzie, she lost as soon as she lost her husband. And uh, oh. so, so Boya Freeman, our good friend, Wow. At the um, uh, New St. Mark's Pat uh, Baptist Church passed, and uh, and so we lift up his wife and family. Three beautiful, beautiful in his family, and we lift them up tonight. Amen. Mm -hmm. All right, Dick and Porter, all hearts and minds in agreement, we're ready. Dear Heavenly Father, we come once again, dear God, bringing ourselves and our bodies mm -hmm. and the worry that we have. We ask you, dear God, who are the only one can meet the needs at a time like this for us. We ask you in Jesus' name just to look down upon your people tonight, dear God, especially meet the needs of the ones of the New Unity Baptist Church and the churches worldwide, those that are calling on your name on this Wednesday night, Lord, in a prayer meeting time and a Bible study time. We we invite you in and we know you came in and you yeah. shed some light on us tonight, Lord. And Lord, we're asking you tonight to meet the need and remember our sick, Lord. Yeah. We remember for everyone that asked for prayer, Sister Vanessa and Sister Millie and uh, Brother Philip and all the rest of them, dear God, meet their needs. Yeah. Be at the point of their needs, dear God, and we'll say thank you. Thank you how you are keeping us, Lord, from day to day. Just continue to go with us and stand by us, and we'll give your name the praise. We remember especially Sister Ellison, Sister Nettie, Lord, and her daughter Annette in that household. Just do what only you can do is heal the sick. In Jesus' name we pray and ask these blessings. As we leave tonight, Lord, we leave from this, this Bible study, but we never leave your presence and ask you to have your way in our lives throughout this, this service and all through the night and tomorrow if you should tear, we ask you to wake us up filled with the blessed anointing of the Holy Ghost, and we'll say thank you, Jesus. In Jesus, amen. Amen. Take care of yourself. Do one more thing. Take one more swig of water. Help me finish this bottle. You finish this bottle also in your, what you got. Come on, let's finish them up. Let's finish mine. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Done. All right, and uh, I'm not a water drinker, but you know, during these times, all of this stuff, we need to flush our bodies as often as we can, yeah. even if we don't want to. All right, everybody, have a great night. We'll see you. Do we have Christian here this week, uh, Lita? The 16th. The 16th, so we'll see you Sunday morning, 1055, by the grace of God. Everybody have a good night, a good week.